So here we go, match 16 of 25 matches on day one here in Hong Kong. It's Japan versus Singapore, a pool A match. And um, well, it's gonna be a tough old 14 minutes for Singapore. That's what you, we know for sure. There is the Japanese side packed with seven stars. A lot of pace out there. Look at number 11 and 12, go to Ngoya. Big try scorers. And, uh, also number 10, Mitsui. None of those Japanese players have scored three tries yet. And here's the Singapore side. All locally born, raised and bred. They've played well on the Asian 7 Series this year, over three legs. Here we go, look, there's Deacon Manu again with his hand raised, ready to bring on Japan and Singapore. Deacon Manu, probably a stranger to sevens. Once again, it's time for the Japanese supporters to rise as one with their flags and scarves right down in front of us here. The second best support here at the Hong Kong Stadium for the Hong Kong locals. Good to see. Here we have referee Tim Baker from Hong Kong, originally from Wellington. In Hong Kong for a couple of years now. There's a element of class to the Hong Kong Premiership. And joining me again is Jed Thine. Hi, Jed. Good afternoon, Grant. Good afternoon, viewers. Wonderful day of action so far on day one. And certainly looking forward to this game with uh, Singapore. Got the one and only Anoki Afiaki uh, running the cutter down there in Singapore. So let's see how his charge is going. Yeah, fairly confident the, from the kickoff. Japan operating in white. Singapore in the black. <laughs> Japanese managed to drag Singapore white. Dancing over the game line. Singapore finding it hard to cover the snap. They use the ball. Japan, they, might, they won't have to get up. Shop. Found on that occasion, they dragged them wide the first time, wide the second time. Singapore was struggling. And they swept upfield and look at that, show of the ball. Too much pace, they're grasping and, well, class by Japan. Sheer class. Great. Sushi Hano. Conversion from Sakai, the all rounder. And it's an early 7 0 lead to Japan over Singapore, and it's going to be a long afternoon here. But Singapore will just need to get their hands on the ball. And if we watch this restart from Sakai, he's a master of this. And if he wants to, he'll put this right into the hands of his players. And just as I say that, he sends it nine meters. Singapore have decided to play it, knocked it on. So, net result is a scrum to Japan. Well, it's a lesson there for young players that you should always play to the whistle. Singapore doing so, but unfortunately, the skills just letting them down. They've taken that short kick and gone on with it. Could have caught the Japanese on the hop, caused them a little bit of problem. You've got to take it though, don't you? You can't let it bounce. Anything could happen. Could go the 10. Away come Japan now. Here they speed this out wide. This is Tadeya go to puts the big pin down on Samuel Teo, but he holds on nicely. Good work from Teo. That one stretches the hamstrings. Oh, Goya manages to get it under control. Now it's go to again. Teo gets up off his feet, makes another big tackle and wins his side for penalty. Players going down, not supporting their weight, and straight onto the ground. Tim Baker awarding the penalty to Singapore. Good defence from Singapore. Pretty 
full on clear out there by the Japanese, picked up by Tim Baker as he left his feet and the ball already cut the touch line there, so no need for the jump and pass and throw all in one move. You're out, you're out. to this line out and bang they're straight into it but they can't win it it was Kua Zuru that went up and disturbed that ball for them now more pressure look at that ball back on the inside to Sakai oh that's lovely sevens three goes go to beautiful sevens there Jed classic from the set piece yeah just a bit of line to the two teams at the moment as they run on the offense the Japanese they're working this Singaporean defense around and Singaporeans as we watch them now advancing here there's the first step all the players down on their heels so they've done quite early and the ball's always going to beat the stationary man Japan just using better awareness better ball skills and a successful conversion Japan leading two converted tries to nil I won't say anything this time. Sakai with the restart. And it's been battered forward by the chasing, chasing players. Now Singapore have a go. It's Nicholas Yao takes it up over the halfway line. You've got to be on top of your game to breach this Japanese defense. It takes something special. And look how tenacious it is. Big shoulder to the face there of Solomon. I think he's, he's down. No, he's okay. The ball has been turned over. Look at this now from Goya to go to. Try score it. Cuts back on the inside. It's Kuwa Zuru. If they swing it this way, there's a three on two. It's another hammy stretcher. And skipping through the tackle beautifully goes Kasushi Hano for their third try. Very quickly working up a 19 0 lead here, Japan. They've cut the Singaporeans to ribbons here. There's, they've just shot up the far side of the pitch. Lovely in on the way, setting this whole move up. And then in the end, the numbers and the passing. And Singapore can't put enough pressure on them to create a knock on or a fumble of any description at the moment. Japan justifiably. Three tries to nine up. Sakai puts it down the middle with a beautiful conversion. Japan 21, Singapore now with a minute left in this first half. Japan making a clean, clean sweep of the Asian Seven Series this year, taking all three tournaments against three different opponents in three cup finals. As they come wide again. This is go-to. He's probably got the pace here. There's good covering over there by Hussain, but he's, he's too much class to let that get in the way. And the tries are raining down on Singapore here. Try number five. Well, Singapore just not able to cause any pressure on them. Not even a, really a blitzing defence. They're just trying to push them wide, and they're not even really doing enough to man them up on the inside. And, squeeze them for space as Japan again nice defined running lines it's straight and it's a pass it's straight and a pass and the try ensues all converted tries now for Japan it's Japan's second game of the day having beaten Chinese Taipei 38 to nil earlier in the day Singapore were beaten by China 22 to nil So yet to score a try Singapore in this tournament and that will be something they'd like to do and that's half time. Japan 28, Singapore nil. Well possibly plenty more under the hood for Japan. I'm feeling if they really press the button on Singapore they could leave them in the dust. 50 points isn't it? Probably probably get beyond them. That's right, 28-0 now. We just saw a 50-0 to 
blowout. China against Chinese Taipei. Welcome back and welcome to all our viewers in Singapore and Japan. Hello from Hong Kong. Welcome to our viewers from all around the world. We are midway through day one of this two day Olympic qualifier in Hong Kong. And Japan hold a 28 to nil lead over Singapore in this pool A match. After this game, we'll be taking a look at Hong Kong versus Philippines, which will be reason for this local crowd to get all pumped up. But meanwhile, it's Japan who Kazu Hiro Goya is in for his second try of this game. And that takes the score out to three points to win. into the top try scorers in this game. Now six players tied up with three tries apiece. And here we go again. Trying to get a glimmer of hope in this game with his life as hope. But there'll be no sympathy from Japan here. There'll be no taking of the foot off the throat. These players are playing for selection and positions. Sakai blasting through the middle and as easy as that the Singaporeans are tired it's been a tough seven minutes to start with it's two quick tries in the second half now with five full minutes remaining look at Sakai he really is well balanced he's at the center of everything for this Japanese side it's 38 points to nil well he might be joining Hanai very shortly with tries and score. But they uh, really just it's a bit of a mismatch for for old Singapore here at the moment. They're like bunnies in the headlights. Over she goes, 40 points to nil. Lottie to carry is on, and the first thing he does is reclaim the ball, pops it up to Mitsui, who's wondering what to do next. Shimit gets clobbered from the side by Kumar. Sakai to Fujita. This is Nabani. And Nicky Nabani is on as well. Both had a couple of big players on the bench. Just brought them on now. Here's Takeri. This is Matsui. 
He might just glide through here. He does. He's all class. 10, 11, 12 in Japan. Uh, classy super glide runners. These big men like to carry on their the ball. Some passes like that. It's always been good. Just stretching in Singapore, then just simply are watching the line speed. There's nothing coming forward. They can't create any pressure drifting because they're not fast enough to drift. And Japan doing everything right though. You know, they're not making mistakes, they're mentally staying sharp. And they're playing like a team that's hungry to go to the Olympic Games. Away we go again. Look at that. Beautifully taken in the air by Hikosaka, who's now on the field. A wonderful restart. Here comes Sakai for another try. And it's just beautifully masterful piece of play there. Twice from the restart. Cleanly taken, and it's try time a few seconds later. And there is the 50. Well, it's almost hit training run proportions now, to be honest. It's a little more than a posed run for Japan. The restart, remarkable, caught on the fly. Simple ball movement, three passes. And Japan are in the game. Yuki Sakai for yet another conversion and it's 54 points to nil and let's see if they can do it again it is here comes to carry and look at this oh it's just child it's men against boys here situations like this as the team on the short, short end of it you regardless you want to see your best players step up hopefully create something or turn the turn the momentum some way a good tackle or a good kick uh, just a touch of class from somebody to uh, remind the the rest of their teammates that Singapore are Meant to be here and they're meant to be competing. At the moment, they're just in the best seat in the house. Four kickoffs in a row. Restarts have been regathered by the Japanese. We've seen a masterclass of restarts here from Sakai and his chases. And with the score at 61 0, we've got our biggest score of the day. And I don't think it's over yet. Through goes Matsui, way too fast. And that's going to put him out for four tries as he goes over in the corner. It's 66 points to nil. Just a masterclass of restarts, Jim. Yeah, hard to beat when you can't get the ball. But this could have worked here, beautifully balanced. And then he goes for the change-up after showing it. And he just leaves them in his wake. So, a sharp bit of work. It was nice work from the Japan player. Shahito Matsui with his fourth try. So now he's out on his own on four tries. And look at this from Sakai. <laughs> right on the very pointy tip of the upright. And he's brought the game to a conclusion. Japan, 60 nick six. Singapore, nil. Biggest score of the day. And it's pretty hard to score 66 points and sevens.